Alright guys, this is the uh, my review of the LeBron 11 NSW Lifestyles, the South Beach or Miami Vice, whatever you want to call them, the colorway. Um, here is the Nike Foot Locker sticker. Retail for 130 You got Wolf Gray, Tribe Green, Hyper, I don't, I don't know, Hyper Pink or something. I don't know, the shoe's really nice. I got these when I got the Kobe 9 Lifestyles. And these are actually, I think, 10 more bucks more expensive. 10 bucks more expensive than the Kobe's, so. But here we go. I'm going to do an on-foot review after I show you guys this. So here they are. If I can get this thing out. I have never worn these. I did open them before, though. My phone just fell out of my pocket, but uh, here they are. So along the upper, you got that, like, gray diamond stitch kind of look. With the Nike logo on the front. I'm going to try and flip this around. I don't have a tripod on me right now. And this doesn't want to stay. I'm trying to flip the NSW thing around. So. You got the NSW. Right there. Rope laces which are kind of cool looking. I like the gray and red accents. The gray tongue. And that is like. It kind of looks pink in this video. But. It's a little darker in, in like person, so don't think it's like that bright pink. Maybe like a mango color, I'm not really sure. It's not that bad in in person, but uh inside the shoe, Nike, LBJ, uh what does that say? I don't even know. No clue what that says. Um on the back, well you have a white outsole, midsole, on the heel of the foot you got the like infrared pink it kind of looks like the infrared sixes so it's just the same color as the tongue it's not as pink in this video it looks really pink but in real life it's not and then you have this like cool kind of like foam posit material I, I don't know like I guess it's like foam posit material but it's like diamond cut looks really nice actually I really like the look of it if you guys can tell Looks like that. Then you got the same mangoish color on the back with some diamond wolf gray in between the teal diamond cut like uh, stuff. So that's kind of going around the whole shoe. That's kind of my review, I guess, on it. I wore these once in store, try them on, and I really liked how they felt. They actually felt more comfortable than the Kobe 9s, so that's why I copped these and I copped the Kobe 9s because they were both really nice looking. This, these are a little bit more comfortable, but I think the Kobe 9s look a little better. But let's go ahead and do an on-foot review. Thanks, guys, for watching this, and uh, tell me what you think about these. I'll do an on-foot now, and yeah.